Maybox here. So everybody got their free Hargrave make right. Well, not everybody. My account didn't get one. I think EA did a make right on me for giving me the um uh, the lockout rewards. So they didn't give me the the free Hargrave, but luckily I already have him. He's a he's a stealer. Um, so it was a limited. So it's eleven thousand free training for everybody that got it. Some people said like their alt accounts that didn't even log in for weeks even got this Hargrave. So check your account account to get this make right. Um, also check out the sponsor today. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. So I think one of the biggest questions I got was, uh, yo, Fox, I got this free Hargrave. Like, if you look at his attributes, for me, I got some D-line bonuses to be fair, but one of the best D-tackles in the game. 88 speed, 305 pounds, um, uh, 99 block, shed, 95 power, we have 97 finesse. So it depends on how many AP you have to spare on defense. If you don't want to spend anything on the D-line, and we'll talk about D-line uh, and, and what it means and everything in a second. Free secure tackler. It's just really nice to deal with A.J. Dillon, right? If you get your hands on him, he's going down. So it really helps out um, because if he sheds, he can take down A.J. Dillon just on his own, okay? So I've been getting questions about inside stuff double or nothing that kind of stuff i no longer like double or nothing. i used to like double or nothing quite a bit but i ever since like equipping x factors on my jackals and i'll talk about his x factors here in a second too um double or nothing i've been seeing a lot of people run secure protector at guards and it's a fair a fair thing to run because secure protector negates inside stuff and double or nothing so should you run these i think they're good i think it, if they don't have secure protectors, with the amount of people running AJ, with the amount of people like just running the ball in general now, because it's very hard to pass the ball for, I'd say, 90% of the Mutt community, um, and probably 95% of, 99% of the Madden community. But, like, I think inside stuff is more valuable than double or nothing, even with the secure protector. Metis, if, if you're trying to get what I'm saying, because, like, double or nothing's good, except, like, you have to manage your defensive lines... Um, pass rush moves it, so because like you get like what five pass rush moves so every pass rush moves cost two they're better but like you're gonna lose two against all secure protectors and they're gonna fall down if you never have pass rush points left um so i think double i think it's almost not worth the hassle anymore uh it used to be able to be very good but it's not anymore so i go inside stuff if i had hargrave and i wanted inside stuff now i just rely on shooting gaps bros but like i, I don't know inside stuff inside stuff's still nice but anyways I would not use them on the edge, so edge threat's useless. El Toro for one, I don't love this. 2,500, it's okay. I would only like it on the free guys. I think like like Aaron Donald and Reggie White get it for free. It's not dominant. It's just okay. Okay, so free secure tax is my recognition. Now, the other thing, run stuffer. I think this run stuffer is really good. The problem is you're only getting it like half the plays. And I don't love the inconsistency of that. It's really cool in the field when it's all lit up. People are afraid of that. And it's good. And it's really good when it's lit up. The issue is your opponent can kind of avoid you just by running, like, you know, stretches and, and outside and stuff. The Relentless, I don't think any X-Factor pass rushing. I think JJ Watt's okay. But I don't think Relentless is that good. Because, like, you'd stack Relentless with double or nothing. And trust me, it's really cool. It's really cool. Dominant pass rush points at twice the cost. But then this means, hey, no longer cost any points. You, you, you know, nothing but pure double or nothings. You can stack. You can even stack El Toro on it, right? If you want a crazy dominant bull rush win, do nothing but double or nothing El Toro and this for free. And he might mess some dudes up. But then again, the problem is secure protectors at guards. That's three AP. And depending on your scheme, if you got three AP free, it's a good combo, right? It's a dominant combo. It's gonna be fun to use. If you go against guys with, like, legend theme teams and stuff that have that secure protector, all this is shut down. All this is shut down by that one chemistry on guards. Um, so, that's the balance you're kind of taking. So, I don't don't get me wrong. I like Hargrave. He's my starting defensive tackle. The Those are the upsides and the downgrade, downsides. So, I'm just going to run him with secure tackle. That's what I have been running with him. But that combo, that three-piece combo of double or nothing, El Toro, and then Relentless. But the problem is, also... If you're down a pass rush point, um, it's you won't get El Toro. So like they're kind of like negative stacking against each other too. Double nothing because you go so far down on double nothings, El Toros. Um, then you won't have five. But I don't know. 
I'm here for it. I'm okay. Relentless, but 3 AP in today's game when you can run knockouts and stuff that I feel like are more consistent. That's kind of what it's looking like to me, in my opinion. So that's the thought around Gravedigger. Uh, I just wanted to kind of go out since everybody has them, the strategy around defensive linemen um, abilities and what to put there to anchor the middle of your defense. Um, overall, a very solid card. I think you're going to see this everywhere because he's so dominant. Um, and, and that's what you want to do. So your choices. Your choices, depending on how you play defense, I like it. Here's my lineup. Oh, I should show my lineup currently. I, I, I accidentally backed out. Um, I'm a 96 overall. I think right now the highest overall is 97. I use guys like out of position because they're more effective. Like don't look at overalls. Look at the abilities. Look at like the you know the players themselves and how effective they are. So offensive line, I just got basically got the get best guys in the game there. I decided to put Andrew Thomas because we don't have any top end right tackles. Hopefully Legends this weekend are right tackles. Um, we then have Cheetah, Andre, Bolitnikov. This free Bolitnikov is crazy good. I got another half level before I get Ed Reed. We'll talk about him. He's actually like my most effective, one of my most effective relievers, if not the most effective receiver in the game, okay? Andre Reed at slot. 1 AP for short and deep is good, but I feel like, you know, I might just go back to Steve Smith if I need that AP anywhere else. I went with Brunel because he gets this stuff for five. I really like that Kurt Warner over there. Uh, Wait, where is it? Sorry. I don't know how to point. I really like Kurt Warner, but he gets the same combo for six. Set feet lead, Howard Master, Fearless. Um, so I went to Brunel on it. Uh, Cheetah here with Route Tech, short out to beat Press Man. I got George Kittle here, short in. And then at tight end, I also have Taysom Hill. So if I go to two tight end sets, like a slot offset, I'll be able to have both tight ends with short in activated to get better better cuts on routes and separation of man coverage. Obviously, Quadfather, best card in the game by quite a distance, is on the squad activated. If you don't have Quadfather activated, I don't know what the heck to tell you. That's your number one pickup that you should be making. My defense, I run zone. Von Bell is, is, he hasn't messed up for me yet. So he's going to keep his spot. His The only reason why I'm looking for him to mess up is because he's not a legend. And I do have enough legends chemistry, but it, it's it's sometimes tough to keep a full legends theme team here. Uh, we got Prez with uh, him activated. I've had a hard time hitting ta uh, it sticks. Free enforcer um, on Bobby Wagner there to help deal with if I do go against AJ Dillons and stuff. Um, specialists right here. With Kevin Green, Suggs, my edge, Milkman, and Gravedigger there in the middle. Um, Adams and Jackson, Andre Reed at slot. Revis here at slot cornerback with flat zone and pick artist. Strategy items under the pass balanced, aka spread book, 46 defense. Bull rush, and then offensive strategy item is the sprinter for extra, um, you know, change direction, agility, acceleration stuff for my wide receivers. So that's the, that's the offense. Um, I don't know what else you guys want me to cover as far as this, but I kind of want to go over the, over the strategy of just the free Hargrave and how to use them. Uh, I guess we'll get Legend Reveals here soon, but I, it's not live yet. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have yourselves a great Friday, um, and uh, I'll see you out there on the field.